Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you how to melee fight over big nasties in Grounded. We're going to start with the easiest ones and then work our way up to the hardest for Wolf Spider. But before I do, please like and subscribe as it will give me a boost with YouTube. Thank you very much. For equipment, I'll be using the Acorn Armor as it's easy to get and you don't have to fight anything. Plus it's tough and gives you extra health. You can also use a ladybug armor if you want, because that's best at blocking, but it's harder to get. And for the weapon, I'll be using the mint mallet, as it's the best melee weapon currently in game, and I've done a video on how to easily get it, which I'll link at the end. All the creatures can be killed or weakened by a bow and arrow first, which does make it easier, but I'm just going to show clubbing them all to death. We're going to start off easy by beating to death a poor defenseless ladybug. It's fairly slow, so you can easily get away from it. The only attack you have to look out for is when it charges you. Start off by hitting it once, then block its charge, then hit it twice, block again, then carry on hitting it, you'll stun it, and just hit it again until you kill it. That's the simplest, easiest way to start. One hit, block, then two hits, block, and then carry on hitting it. Then rip its head off. When you've learned how to do that, you can hit it twice at the start, and block its charge, hit it again twice, block again, hit it again, you stun it, and carry on until you've killed it. <laughs> Don't hit the ladybug more than two times, otherwise it will charge you before you can get the third hit off. If it knocks you on your ass, block as soon as you get up, then carry on hitting it. You'll stun it, then finish it off. Next we go on to stink bugs. Their attacks are fairly weak. The only thing you got to look out for is a poison gas for your mate, as a gas will constantly do damage to you as long as you stay in it. Move away from a gas and a bug will follow you. You've avoided the main danger, so now just keep whacking a stink bug after you've blocked its first attack. Knocked it out, and just finish it off. Now you might have noticed that the stink bug sticks its ass in the air for a few seconds as it gets ready to let out its gas. So if you can get in quickly and attack it, you'll be able to stun it before it can release the gas and then just finish it off. Like so, no stinky trumps in your face. Of course, one way to avoid the beetle's gas is to put a gas mask on. Then go up to a beetle and just start whacking it. It's going to let the gas out, but as you can see, it does no damage to me. I've defeated you, ha 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 ha. The next hardest creature to kill is the Orb Weaver Spider, but it's still pretty easy. If you catch it unawares, come up behind it and hit it three times. That will stun it, its health below half, it'll wake up, then block and just finish it off. Didn't even touch me. The normal way of killing it when it can see you is much the same, but you'll go up to it in a block stance waiting for it to attack, and once it has hit it three times, that will stun it. Hit it again then it'll stand up, block, then hit it again and finish it off. Oh, it hit me once. No matter. Let's try it again. Go in, it will see you and stand on its back legs, then attack, block it, that time it missed. You can also circle around it when it's knocked out, and it's got to turn around giving you a second or two extra. Then when you've had a bit of practice, you can slaughter any orb weaver you see. There's one, get away from that ladybug. I'll save your ladybug. All right, block, hit it three times. Get around it. I'm going to ride you. So block the first attack, hit it three times, knock it out, hit it once more, block the next attack, then finish it. Don't even touch me. The next creature is a bombardier beetle, and this one's a bit tricky. I run in without a mallet equipped, run past it and around it, it'll lift his tail up and shoot the acid where you were, then just circle around it, hitting it. And once you've stunned it, you can just finish it off. This rushing method only works about half the time, because sometimes it turns on the spot and still gets you with the acid. If you're going to try it, run right up to its face, then around to the side. As long as you dodge your first initial acid, you'll be okay. 
Just run around hitting it until you kill it. Speaking of dodging its acid, you could try hiding behind something. Get its aggro and hide behind a plant. It'll hit the plant and go in and beat the crap out of it. There you spit at me. If you find a bombardier unaware, go up behind it and hit it three times. Then circle around it, spit its acid, but miss. Knock it out and finish it off. However, the best and most consistent way I've found of killing one is to get right into its face and then hit it once and then circle around hitting it. Your first initial hit seems to make the beetle fly to where you were when you hit it. Then, when you've stunned it, just finish it off. That seems to work most of the time. Let's try it again. Run in. It will see you hit it once, circle around, keep it in. It will shoot where you first hit it, you stunned it, and just finish it off. Now we get to the wolf spiders, and these are a pain in the butt. If you can, take some of their health down by shooting it with arrows. But if you don't have time and have surprised you, I'm going to show you how to club it. First let's go over how these things fight. If you block, they'll still do a bit of damage on you and you'll get poisoned. The poison's not too strong so don't worry about that. The spider has to be facing you at a certain distance away to do a pounce attack. So if you get close to it, it'll walk backwards. And if you get behind or to the side of it, it can't attack you so it'll turn around to face you, giving you vital time to get an extra hit or block. Oh, and take some bandages because you'll need it after the fight. Let's try the walk around method first. It'll go to you, block, do three attacks, block, get to its side as it's knocked out, keep moving to its side, block, it'll move its body back if you're close every time it will attack, but because I was just to the side of it, it missed two attacks there. Now this method's a bit risky, especially using three hits. On the third hit I missed, I didn't have time to block so it bit me. Now I'll try and get behind it, hit it, block again, it missed it because I was at the side, hit, block, missed again, the poison's taking my health down, just managed to stay out of its face and I've got it down. Even though it managed to bite me once, I killed it. And as you can see, this method's a bit wild. A more reliable method to kill it is go straight into its face. Go in, block, walk forward, hit three times, block, and then keep walking forward, because it will try and retreat backwards. Remember, always keep walking forward. Block its attack and then do two or three hits, depending on if you've got time. Most important thing is to block every attack. And keep moving forward so it can't do the pounce attack. And you end up kicking some spider ass. Talk you through it again. Go in and block. Hit, block straight away, hit, knocked it out, hit it, it'll get back up, block, walk forward so it can't get a range, block if you're out of range, block, hit, and you've got it down again. If it's facing you and they're lined up to attack, only do two hits, because you'll need enough time to block. Then when you become good enough, you can do a mix of in its face and walk around block, knock it down, get behind it, and to its side so I try and stay there, keep trying to go around, leaf blocked its attack there. The train has a big part to play as well, leaves or grass could block your attack or the spiders, and to be honest it's easier fighting when it's clear ground with nothing around you. And finally you can use what you've learnt to kick your ass when they're asleep, give them a nasty wake up call. Hit it three times, get close, knocked it out, try and get to the side if you can. It wants to get distance, block, make sure it's blocked, jump in the air, go in, it moved back, block. Just managed to hit it before it got me. And fatality, new blood swings, flawless victory. That's how you kill all nasty beasties in Grounded. 
If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you've not already, and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.